welcome cancer friends doing your singles read this is for the first half of december guys and i'm gonna do meet your soulmate eight cards and I look at the emotional intellectual love and sexual and core values and lifestyle four different areas two cards each we pull a lot from that and we're just simply trying to describe the one that's right for you your soulmate essentially I think there's more than one myself so it's not a you know triggery read it shouldn't be a negative read if you see the three of swords no one's breaking up with you if you see the three of cups no one's cheating on you. It's just going to describe their aspect of them. Justice. Major Arcana. That's always tricky. Here I see the moon. This is in the emotional nature. I do read conscious and unconscious. Queen of Cups. Wow. Now that's the deep unconscious. In the bottom here, the emotional nature. Underneath of Justice. Let me just think about that for a minute, uh, guys, because um, I have to just look at this Justice card. It's, good. it's the Klimt Dark deck. Really beautiful. And this is the card of being called up, you know. You have to think this is in there. Um, this is even in their natal chart. I think we would have a Libra moon here, for one. But you look at that sword now. Might be a Libra moon, but it's in the first house. And you've got the Cancer energy with the Queen of Cups. So I think this speaks to the mother. And I don't want to say this person was an only child and had only a mother, but, you know, it's crazy common. But I think the relationship with their mother was the strongest, yes. And uh, they had a cancer mother. This cancer energy, um, fourth house stuff. Also, you know, it's ex cancer's a great mother, really. Then Leo, then Virgo, arguably, <clears throat> for second and third. But it's the breadbasket, you know, in the Northern Hemisphere, it's, it's the heart of summer, right? So, and, um, we just have here a Libra moon that's particularly strong, so let's keep that in mind. You know, say, because sometimes you think, well, Libra moons are wishy-washy, and they're just so much the diplomat that they don't really know what they want and they make a list before they do everything they do they do that <laughs> admit it <laughs> leave a moons you know you do uh, now this is the intellectual energy death again major arcana powerful death card and the clip dart deck here um whippoorwills <laughs> mexican whippoorwills i love my life <sighs> so heavy i've got pluto written all over it this this death card and it's over. And which way is he facing back into the reading? Page of Cups back towards the mother. So I want to say this. This is your person. I didn't say they were perfect. <laughs> um, they, they, a, a lot of the way they are is going to attribute back to the mother. Don't see this as being bad, okay? The mother's self-contained here. And um, he's, or she, is looking back at the mother. Um, this is someone who just honors their mother, and they probably take after their mother, particularly in their emotional nature. Um, when I see death here, I'm going to think Scorpio's son, okay? And I'm going to think they may even have Pluto conjunct the sun. I'm trying to think of what where that would have been. But uh, it's it could be so many ways, you know? It could be... Uh, Pluto, some relationship to the sun, could be even adverse, could be harmonious, but something strong. It gives uh, Pluto some emphasis uh, on their sun, um, particularly Pluto's sun people um, do kind of have these explosive lives and a lot of like sort of power to their being. It's uh, when I see that I'm starting as an astrologer to already start thinking, well, they came here to kind of blow things up. You know, they're the people that came here to blow up whatever needed blowing up. And they were kind of prepared as, dim, you know, for that kind of demolition. 
Um, but you also see here death is coming out through this family. And I do read a positive childhood here. But I think there may have been like the loss of a father now that I think about it. It's on their son. Uh, so the story they may tell <clears throat> for this uh, cancers is that a father died probably at an early age. And I think died. I don't think like uh, walked away and got a pack of cigarettes didn't come back. I think physically passed on to the other side um, and probably left the, the mother in some distress but it looks like she got it together but this person man or woman would uh, have been in a position with their Libra moon to be very sensitive to their mother's needs and you know excuse me it's like, uh, I just can't deal with these mosquitoes <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? Even as a child, there could have been a little bit of emotional uh, incestuousness, and that's not touching anyone in dirty places. I just mean, you know, maybe you have a single parent who's focusing on a child and doesn't have an adult to relate to and kind of emotionally relies on them a little more. And particularly if you're going through something devastating like the loss of a spouse. I can't even imagine. Never had kids, never lost a spouse. Uh, but see, this would affect them. This, this death here would affect them. It means that uh, they're used to transformation and they may uh, more than once see uh, extreme transformation in their own life of themselves, you know. Uh, Pluto transits for this person as an astrologer be very important to keep an eye on. Five of Swords. Now I'm looking at their Venus and Mars energy, their relationship and sexual nature. Let me look at what the Mars energy is. The Six of Cups. So Scorpio. Um, I think what we're looking at here with Venus um, energy is a Libra Venus um, for them. Well, it's a Five of Swords. That's sexy Venus. Remember I said the Venus is kind of in a strong position. It's kind of an odd um so what's that but maybe uh maybe venus is conjunct lilith or black moon lilith or um eros you know or eris or very closely sextile trine or square or even uh, even opposition here could work like this um so we're looking at a libra venus here um we go with their scorpio sun and libra moon um i wouldn't be surprised if these are not conjunct uh, I'd, I want to see the chart of this person. When you meet them, let me see their chart. Okay. Um, I got to think they're conjunct, this Venus and, and Moon. And they're, ha and they're in both in a, in a strong position for Libra Moon. Um, and now Libra um, Venus already ha is very strong, right? As strong as you could get, maybe, for Venus. So... Um, That leaves in the very most likely a Scorpio uh, Mars. And I like that too. So Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Mars. Yeah. So this is someone that can really read people, but I also do also see someone very kind of internal, dear. Um, like in the terms in terms of the way they, they love. Um, with uh, a Scorpio Mars and uh, having a Scorpio uh, Sun, um, it's going to be intense. <laughs> I can only imagine. Um, and with the Libra Venus, I mean, they're in some conflict with themselves, particularly with the Libra Venus and Moon. Um, you know, because Li Libra and Scorpio doesn't go together. The way it doesn't go together for them, it's like the, the Scorpio uh, Sun and the Scorpio Mars, it always wants to go and see what's in the basement. And the Libra uh, Moon and the Libra Venus, uh, it it's not going in the basement, guys. Libra doesn't play that. It has no interest in that. It just does not want to do it. And Scorpio has got to do it. Scorpio, like, somebody's got to do it. And I'm here. Let's go see what's in the basement. And they, this person may have that look in their eyes. 
and you may say it, and they may say it, that other people have said it. You may hear other people say it. It's like when they look at me, they're looking into me, through me, and you know, something. An intense look about their eyes. It's just Pluto energy that they have. And let's see where they're at in terms of their lifestyle core values, guys. King of Cups energy. And temperance, Sagittarius energy. They could definitely have some Sagittarius in them. Um, interesting. But I don't read the uh, sign so much in this one. This is very much looking at their lifestyle core values. Um, so no surprise that something that they do is emotional. And this is a classic uh, position for someone. Could be a psychologist, could be a social worker, uh, any kind of work like that. A healer that's uh, deep emotion. Someone that completely understands other people's emotions. And with the temperance card, I feel like this is really good, and especially in terms of your home life, that this is someone's going to be open, kind of open-minded, easygoing, a way about them. They're not someone that's as controlling as I'm sorry, but a lot of scorpions get the rap for anyway. You know, there's someone's got some sad energy about them. I'm going to call them sad. It's kind of like, okay, okay, cool. Because temperance, you know, it's supposed to be patient. Well, it's patient because everything's cool. You're not uptight. You're not trying to control anything. You're not worried about anything. You don't feel any, nothing that you can think of needs control. There's no red flags. There's no problemo. No problemo. Um, and so I think this person is very easy about what they do, though. Um, like a real master of it, you know. So, I think that gives us something to go by here. Guys, let me know what you think. Do you have a like, thumbs up, comment, one way or another. Appreciate your comments a lot. Try to answer everybody. If you haven't, do subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you, guys.